You know the old adage, you can't complain if you don't vote? How about you can't fake outrage after a public process where you didn't weigh in? In case you missed it, the UW Board of Regents, which includes appointees from both Governor Evers and former Governor Walker, unanimously chose Dr. Jennifer Mnookin to be the next UW Madison Chancellor, which should be boring. But because it's an election year, some Republicans decided to pick that political football right out of the air. Even though not a single member of the state GOP has even met Mnookin, that didn't stop State Senator Steve Nash from saying hiring Mnookin could warrant funding cuts for UW. Or Assembly Speaker Robin Ross from calling the decision a blatant partisan selection and a tragic mistake. Or Republican candidate for Governor Rebecca Clayfish from saying the decision to hire a woke radical is infuriating and predicting that now liberal ideology will be force-fed to UW students because that's what makes Madison so liberal. The Chancellor. Here's my question. Where was all this concern and criticism during the rigorous public process of vetting candidates? Or is this just convenient outrage manufactured to score a few points after the fact? Either way, since the regions have made it clear they will not be changing their decision despite this criticism, welcome to Wisconsin, Dr. Mnookin. I hope our Wisconsin niceness doesn't overwhelm you.